I'm going to be showing you how to make a paintbrush that would have been used in Renaissance times. Some of the materials and tools you need. Well, the main tools is a hand drill or, you know, a power drill, but I'm going to be using this with all hand tools. You'll need a knife, any, you know, sharp knife is fine. You'll need a chisel or even like a sewing needle would work fine, but any small chisel or if your knife has a small enough blade, I just don't have um, a knife that has a small enough blade. We'll need a vise or some type of clamp. We'll need horsehair. The horsehair is probably going to be the hardest thing to find unless you have horses. Um, but you you can probably find some. Or any type of, you know, animal hair or synthetic hair. We'll need a stick. Just It's better if the stick is green wood because then it'll be bendy for something that we'll be doing later, as you can see. Bendy. You'll need some string, any cotton string that's not too big, some wood glue, and a saw. So let's get started. So for this step, you're going to need your stick and your knife. So take your knife, and what you're going to want to do is make a groove about half an inch down from the end of the stick, all the way around, and then shave off that bark. So shave it off until you have just the bare wood. You can see it's just the bare wood there. And um, and that's just gonna allow you to see it a little bit better. So after you've done that, you're gonna take the vise, and you're gonna wanna put your stick inside of your vise and you're going to tighten it down. If, it ha if it's better, if it's upright, but tighten it down. You can see there. And then you're going to want to take your, dr your hand drill or your power drill, depending on what you're using, and drill a hole in the center all the way down until around as deep as your groove that you made. And the drill bit that you use should leave about a millimeter of material on the outside of the stick. So if you have about a millimeter of material, that's perfect. The next step is you shouldn't even really take your stick out of the vise, but put the stick back in the vise. And it's best if this is on a table or a level surface. But then you're going to want to take your saw and make an X pattern. So just saw here and then saw across. And if you would like, you can use your knife again and make a little X marks so your saw has something to bite into. When you're done, you'll have a hole in the center and three grooves around, and that'll allow you to, with your fingers, easily bend in the wood. Now, if you're using dry wood, it might crack it, so that's why I recommend using green wood, because as you can see, it just bends in super soft. It's perfect. So, now to the more difficult processes. So, the next step is where it's going to get more difficult. What you're going to need to do is either take your chisel or your knife, and clear out any burrs that are inside of the wood. Those make it easier to insert your bristles. And as you can see, it's a pretty clear hole. Next up, take your wood glue. I'm using Type Bond 2, but you could use pine sap or any wood glue, really. And squeeze them out and fill the hole. Then you're going to want to take your bristles. And you're going to you wrap it with a rubber band. A little rubber band and that'll help let you stay together and then you're going to take it and put it inside and twist it in there it goes now it's staying in there next take the string I'm using cotton string and get off a length of about two feet then you're going to want to break your string off and you're going to take it, put your brush down, make a little overhand knot, simple overhand knot, 
Then through the back side of your brush, slip it through the hole. You're not going to tighten in the knot yet. Then slip it around and tighten it part of the way. Slip it up the rest of the way. And at the very top, tighten it down. And press in your bristles, tighten it down. And this will start to tighten the wood around the bristles, as you can see. And so keep taking your string and just wrap it as tight as you can all the way around here until you have about 10 inches left. So after you've done that, you can tie it off. And if you would like, you can cut off the excess. But then that's your finished paintbrush. The bristles are securely in there. And you have a nice little handle. I mean, you could make this look nicer if you had a lathe or something. Or just sand it down more. But this is more of a natural look. That's how to make a paintbrush that would have been used in Renaissance times.